Good day everybody, it's Mike. Hope you're all well. So today's video will be a bit of a tutorial, I guess, on how to get IndyCar Racing 2 working on Windows 10. And um, it's actually fairly easy, but there are some steps which need to be done. So here I've got my folder of shortcuts here and IndyCar Racing 2. Let me just log that in. And here we are in. I'm Paul Page. I'm Paul Page. So here we are in Windows 10. It's the latest, latest version of Windows 10, and everything, everything works. And I've got a later um, car set in there. As a, and the reason I've done that is because it has all 28 drivers instead of I think about. 15 or 20 come in the game standard and all the others are placeholder names but these are all the correct names and everything for 1995 I think it was um, and there's quite a few different car sets out there but we'll show you how to get this working and it is a little bit fiddly but not too bad the first thing you do need is, of course, a copy of IndyCar Racing 2 with DOSBox. And I went to this website, and the reason I did, because you also need uh, NASCAR Racing. And download the easy, easy setup. So you go to oldgames.com, do a search, and, and you'll find them very easily. Uh, the reason you need... NASCAR 1 is because the configuration file for your controls is the one you need to copy into your IndyCar Racing 2 folder. It will not work otherwise. So you need both games. Now, these are not free to download. They're $6. I did it because I downloaded about 8 different games in one day and I thought six dollars for eight games is you know that's fine particularly when they work and it's a fairly it's a safe site as well there are plenty of others out there but the reason i got this one is because they have the dos box set up and um everything just works straight out of the box so that's up to you otherwise you're going to have to chase up another version of it and get it to work but this one just works straight out of the box and what you get is a zip file and you unload the zip file and this is what you end up with so it's an IndyCar Racing 2 folder and it has a DOS box and there's the documentation and all that we don't need to do anything in that folder this folder we do uh, look up games then you go IndyCar Racing 2 and this DOS box configuration out of the the download does not work um, it will load IndyCar Racing 2 but you cannot get controls to work um, there are issues there are only small issues but if you don't know they're there you'll just do what I did and just give up and look somewhere else and then I just thought no I'm going to make this work so I spent the best part of a day hunting up this information and it works out really well so you need to open up this DOS box one in your IndyCar Racing folder um, and the same file is in NASCAR as well so you've got to make the same changes in both to get it to work but this is what we're looking at. So this is out of IndyCar Racing 2, and this is actually NASCAR Racing 2. Uh, it hasn't been modified, so you'll be able to see what is and is not. So the first thing we do is go down to line 24, and there's the CPU on line 22. There's a section there called CPU, and within that you've got CPU type. Originally it is auto but you must change that to 386 slow and cycles 
max, you change that to auto. And that's that section done. The next section we look at, scroll down, not that far. We look up the joystick. This is all your settings for your joystick. Out of the box it says joystick type auto. That does not work. You change it to four axis. Now, the guys had, originally it was four, four axis underscore two. Now I put that in there and all the, the flickering and the, the jiggling of the control stopped, but it would not find my G27. So I thought, what happens if I just do that? and change it to four axes, which is what the G27 is. So you've got your steering left and right and your pedals, actually it's a five axis technically if you're taking your, your clutch, but we're looking at four axes. Brake, um, your brake pedal, acceleration pedal, and you're turning left to right. And I just put in four axis, and another one you have to change is timed, I think I said that already, to false time to false, four axis, and it worked. <clears throat> now remember, I put this in uh, the NASCAR 1 game first. That is the one you must do first, otherwise it will not work. So all these settings, which I've shown you here, that same file, which is, not that one, here, this DOS box configuration file, you change that in your NASCAR racing first, and then basically change the same li uh, lines in this one. Don't touch anything else, otherwise the game won't work. So you have to change these lines here. So they're exactly the same as that. And it, it worked. So I went into... Um, NASCAR Racing 1. I'm Ned Jerry. From Papyrus, this is NASCAR Racing. And you go into NASCAR 1 and you go to Options, Controls, Calibrate your jo joystick. So the first one is your steering, left and right. Don't worry about the bottom Y axis, That ignore that. It's the top one which is your steering. And you calibrate joystick two, and the top one is your brake, uh, is your accelerator, and the bottom one is your brake pedal. And once they're done, you change it to linear steering, because if you're in non-linear steering, it's very vague. So you go linear steering, and then you set your controls. So you hit enter, and I won't do it now because I don't want to mess it up. But you hit enter, and then you turn your steering wheel left and right, then hit enter again. Then you do acceleration, do the same, braking, do the same, uh, shifting. I forgot to tell you that. There's a line you have to change for your shifting. And you can get your uh, paddles working. So your paddle, paddle up, paddle down gives you your, uh, gives you your, um, your shifting. And reverse, you can use whatever you want for reverse, whatever you feel happy with. Then once that's done, you get out of You get out of NASCAR Racing and close that and in your NASCAR folder this here, Controls Configuration you copy that file into your IndyCar Racing folder and that's it there. So this one is originally out of the NASCAR folder, and you copy that, paste it, and then when you go into IndyCar Racing, I... uh, you calibrate exactly the same, that's not a problem, calibrate, because I think it asks you every time you log in to, cal to calibrate, the set controls, this is how 
it was in NASCAR 1, do not touch anything in there. Because if I, I'm not going to do it now because it's too much stuff in there to fix it, but if I press enter now, and I put in a setting for steering, it will default to mouse. And for whatever reason, IndyCar Racing do has has that mouse. Um, it's a bug in in the system for whatever reason. But someone found out if you copy the NASCAR the NASCAR configuration file directly into your IndyCar Racing folder, it works and it does. So that's what you have to change. Now I meant to show the other so we go back to joystick now this one here button wrap in the NAS, the original file which it which is not changed in the original file it says false if it is if the button wrap is false you can't map the um, the paddle shifters or any other buttons so you have to change that to true so your button wrap is true, and I think I've got that here. Uh, whoops, hang on. Yep, so your button wrap, you change that to true. And that way you get, you get the button, you get the, um, the paddle so you can change gears manually if you want to do that. Um, and that's about it. I think that's that's all we need. So the other thing I was going to show is my website. And eventually what I'm going to do, I've got Mike's Track Building here. And I'm going to have a list of other other sims and files and setups and all sorts of stuff. I have got literally two CDs full of NASCAR racing files and probably probably about 50 IndyCar racing files and all sorts of stuff so I'll um, probably end up here and also I'll have some tutorials and other stuff and links to my track track making which is the main thing I'm doing with um, R Factor 2 and Lakeside and uh, Queensland Raceway so eventually we'll be able to click into here and it'll go to the IndyCar racing page and I'll have tracks, and one of those tracks is Indianapolis. There's about three versions I have, and one version is the best. And I think it came originally from the NASCAR Racing Expansion Pack or something, and it had Indianapolis in it. Um, but it, it works well, so I'll have that there later. Um, so yeah, so you need both those games. You need IndyCar Racing 2 and NASCAR Racing 1 and download both those install them into the folders and then follow those instructions changing those lines do NASCAR first then copy over to IndyCar and then IndyCar will work um, so I think that's about it that should give you all the information you need uh, the other I was going to show you um, yep. This site here, IndyCar Racing 2 Net. Um, these guys have been around for years and years and years, and there's lots and lots of information here, and it's worth it's worth going there to have a look at. And um, certainly, there's some good good stuff. There's some different mods. There's lots and lots of track upgrades and all sorts of things in here uh, patches too um, that's another thing you have to do is patch patch the game but that's <coughs> that's probably for another video it's very easy um, yeah so that's about it so hopefully that made sense it was a bit of a, a long video but if you follow it and go over it you should be able to um, to get IndyCar Racing working with G27 in uh, Windows 10. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope this helps and um, have a great day.